Honestly speaking, there is nothing, I repeat, nothing that anyone can tell me about Ghanaians and Ghana. I hate Ghana and I hate Ghanaians. Yet, I hate them with passion. Nothing, nobody can convince me about my decision. Who said that? Wait till the end of this video. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening to you wherever you are in the world. I remain your G, Arenga. Yeah, today's video is a very special one and I just want to... Uh, but before, before I say anything about today's video, I want to thank those of you that have always been consistent with, you know, uh, my videos, as in those that have always been consistent watching my videos yeah before i move further let me use this medium to thank those of you that have always been consistent watching my videos i really appreciate each and every one of you god bless you let me quickly say something about baba ghana yeah um so far so good we've not been raised more than uh, 145 dollars and uh, we have, we still have a lot to do. And uh, for some that have promised us and they are yet to fulfill their promise, please kindly do so. Kindly do so because, like I said, I can't do this on my own. And uh, the man in question, you know, uh, has been so eager, is very, very eager now to visit his place of birth after 51 years. So please. Wherever you are, I know you can do it. I know you can do it. It's something that just one person can do and, you know, um, sponsor the whole trip of Baba visiting Ghana after 51 years. So please, I will leave the link to the GoFundMe here in this video. Click on it and then try as much as you can to support However, for those of you that have always been watching my videos, if, you are, if this is your first time of, you know, uh, watching my videos, my name is Arenga, I'm a travel vlogger and a YouTuber. Yes, uh, I create content. I mean, when I mean, when I say content, I mean solid and good content uh, about uh, what is going on in the society, places, most especially places that you can visit in Africa whenever you come to visit. Africa is a place for everyone to be. If you have been traveling all over the world and you have not been to Africa, you've not been to everywhere. Tourism, I say, tourism started from Africa. Why? How do you mean? Yes, because <laughs> that's just my own opinion and that's what I will always say. For those of you, I, I've noticed something that many of you you know, you just watch my video and you leave without leaving a comment or like. Is it that there's something I'm not doing right? Let me know if there's anything you want me to do. Uh, or maybe anything that I'm doing that I'm not doing right. Or if there's anything you want me to do in particular, leave a comment. But I want us to grow this channel together. Let's move this channel together. Let's see how far we can go before the end of this year. We are now 3,000 plus, and I know we can do it. It's just a matter of time. Let's share this video. Let's like, leave comments, put the video link on all our social media platforms, share with friends and family. Yes, I have seen some of uh, my videos that some people have even posted that, oh, so so person shared it to them and whatever. So I really appreciate those of you that have been sharing my videos so far. 
Thank you and God bless. I'm sure everybody, those of you that click on the video, will just want to know why I hate Ghanaians and their country, like uh, Ghana. Yes. You know I love Ghana and I love Ghanaians. Ghana, as I've always said, that is my second home and I'm proud to say that anywhere, irrespective of whatever is going on. Because I have noticed that um, for numbers of years you have been seeing some that do not even understand what this world is all about, comparing Ghana with Nigeria and uh, which is not supposed to be. We all are brothers and we should all be united as one Africa. We have a lot in common. Yeah, some I will say, oh, what do you, we don't have anything in common. Anyway, uh, let's leave that for another day. But the reason why this is coming up is simply, it has to do with a friend of mine in the US. And uh, please, I just want you to pay attention to this. A friend of mine in the US, we're just talking, discussing, and I said, okay, I'll be coming to Ghana, I'll be going to Ghana um, very soon. And he said, what am I going to do there? I said, Ghana is my second home and I love visiting the place. However, I want to continue with uh, the video that uh, uh, I always do going around West African countries, but I stopped in 2020, 2019 in Ghana and I want to continue from Ghana. That's why I want to say, wow. Oh, I'm saying that he has uh, uh, some Ghanaian friends uh, over there in America that, uh, you know, whenever you talk, they don't even want to hear of any other African country except Ghana. When you have, uh, you know, some of their um, colleagues in the office, when they feel like, okay, where can I go in Africa for summer, they will be the one that will say, no, Ghana is the best, Ghana is better. So worry about other African countries. I say, is that why you are hungry? Is that why you hate Ghanaians and uh, Ghana. No. No. Ghanaians are proud of their country. They are promoting their country wherever they go to. Yes. So you, as a Nigerian, you need to promote your country as well. I told him, take for example, Ghanaians, they go to any length to support anything that has to do with their country. Most of my videos that I shot in Ghana that has anything to do with Ghana, go back and see. You will see Ghanaians bombarding the content. They even leave comments. Yes. You see likes. They share the videos. That shows that the love, anything that has to do with their country and anyone that is talking about their country, most especially positively. Don't get me wrong. You might have other reason, but if this is the reason why you hate, let me not be using hate, because hate is a very strong word. You dislike Ghanaians and Ghana. My dear, you need to change. Change that your mindset. You to start promoting your country wherever you are. Honestly, I have seen that zeal in Ghanaians. Look at the way they cherish their flag. There's nothing in Ghana, nowhere you go to in Ghana that you will not see the flag. They cherish it just like the Americans cherish, Ameri cherish American flags. I'm sure you know what I'm talking about. I don't know if there's any other African country that cherish uh, their flag so much like uh, the Ghanaians do. Because they even use, you, you see them, they use it to make uh, different kind of things, shoes, uh, cap, um, just name it. And even the pattern of uh, some of their kente, you know, some of them are in the, the, the flag of the country. That's, that, 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 that's to tell you 
how much the Ghanaians cherish the flag. Don't get me wrong, I'm not saying that other African countries do not cherish their flag, but I'm just telling you the reason why Ghanaians, that's, that's, that strongness, that boldness has always been there. And that is why anywhere they go to in the old world, they always try to come together and uh, be their brother's keepers. I remember my first visit to the UK. I told my cousin that I want to cut my hair. And he said that, okay, let me take you to somewhere. He took me to a barbing salon at uh, Kennington, yeah. And the barbing salon was owned by a Ghanaian. And this Ghanaian also have Ghanaians that are working for him. Honestly, you need to see that love. You need to see that unity in them. When you see a man or woman that always talk about his or her country, proud of his or her country, that means that you need to check it out. The love that such people have for their country is enormous. So we also, my fellow Nigerians, we need to do so as well. Sometimes I just imagine, I've done a lot of videos in my country. I have, yeah, I have some followers that are Nigerians that always do uh, follow my uh, uh, content. They like and they comment, but out of 120 something million, you know, it's always difficult. I don't usually see some of my people, just few that comment, appreciate what I do. I go around to places to make sure that I showcase, you know, uh, the positive side of Africa and which I think I've done so much in Nigeria as well. But those videos, sometimes I ask myself, what is happening? These videos are not moving. But once Ghanaians see any video anywhere they search, I don't know, maybe they have a searchlight searching for any, any video that has to do with uh, Ghana. Once they see it, they, have, they will all bombard it with comments, with love, with uh, likes, and they share. I think we can do better than that. Let's promote ourselves. Let's promote our country. And ever since then, uh, when I discussed with that, my friend, uh, yeah, he later agreed that, well, 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 to, to a uh, certain uh, level, I'm right. And um, then we need to do a lot more about ourselves as well. So, and um, for those that are, we, are, we still, in uh, most of uh, these videos that we do, you see, you still see some Ghanaians trying to contend with uh, Nigerians, no Nigerians are 419, Nigerians are, they are scammers, they are this, they are that. Please, you cannot say because one person is bad, then you generalize it that everybody is bad. We are over 120 million. Tell me, I even had a story when I traveled to Benin Republic. A guy came, he's a Beninua, and he came from Germany. Do you know what the guy was telling me? He said that even Africans in diaspora, most of them when they commit, and do, especially those that are still looking for papers or whatever permits, and they know that, okay, they cannot produce anything. When they commit anything, any atrocities, and they are being caught, the guy was telling me that, do you know that the only country that they claim that they come from is Nigeria? I said, why? He said, because they know that uh, they've known Nigeria to be, you know, uh, a place, you know, I mean, uh, they've known Nigerians to be uh, people that are just too smart and they are into fraud and that. Well, that is not the case. Search. Nigerians have been very great and we are still great all over the world. We have Nigerians making names all over the world. We have some countries that cannot do without Nigeria. So, it's a very great country, a very blessed country, and a country 
with a lot of opportunities. So, but for the few people that are doing all this, for the, I will say few, for the few that are damaging the image of Nigeria, please have a rethink. Have a rethink. Let's think about our future, generations to come. Let's try to build a nation together. When I say Ghana is my second home, that doesn't mean that I'm condemning my country. I'm proud to be a Nigerian. And anywhere I go to, I tell them. Anywhere, everywhere that I've been to, I tell them. Whenever you ask me any question, and you say, where are you? I say, I am from Nigeria. I'm a Nigerian. That reminds me of a friend of mine uh, uh, when, when I first traveled to, to Nairobi, Kenya, I, I lodged at a, a Samaga, Samaga Hotel. Yes, I think I said God that's right. Samaga Hotel in uh, Nairobi. And, uh, you know, I went there to purchase, I mean, to get a Mexican visa. You know, I was traveling to, I wanted to travel to Mexico with uh, a group of uh, my students. So then there was no embassy. Mexican embassy in Nigeria, so it's either you go to uh, Morocco or Kenya. So I now said, okay, I prefer a country that speaks English, so that's why I picked uh, Kenya. So when I got there, I remember, you know, I was going to the embassy, coming back home. When I come back to the hotel room, the hotel room has been cleaned and I was, okay, no problem. So there was a day I came back early and I met the guy cleaning the, the room. Oh, and I said, oh, sorry. How are you? He said, oh, fine. I said, yeah. what's your name? He said, my name is Tony. Tony? Okay, now ask me, sir, what's your name? I said, my name is Are, but, you know, feel free, call me whatever you like, but I'm Are by name. That's my nickname, but Adeni Udufia is my real name. And I said, oh, okay. Which country are you from? I still remember. When I said Nigeria, the guy was, huh? Nigeria? Bad, bad people there. And I was him. I said, look. There's no country, there's no country that you go to that you will not see bad people. Yeah. There is no country you go to that you will not see bad people. Even in your country, I told him when I first arrived at the airport, I saw a lot of things written on the distance, beware of a uh, 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 scammers, beware of this, beware of that. Don't take a bike. I mean, don't take taxi from anyone outside. Take from uh, this thing, uh, from the airport, whatever. Get your information. She, you know, I said it's everywhere. You see those people everywhere. We've we've we've, we've entered uh, uh, a vehicle, whereas where we are going is not too far, and the person was taking us around all over simply because we do not know, just to make sure that the money. So everywhere. We have bad people. Please, if you believe in all this that I have said, share this video. I have noticed that many people just come into this channel. You just watch and you leave without subscribing, without liking, without leaving a comment. Please, my Arenga team, as from today, watch my video, like, if you are new, subscribe. Till I come your way next time with another wonderful and interesting video. I remain your G Arenga saying bye bye and then oh double.